with all the latest in news, sports, and entertainment. You're watching the Boone TV Buzz, Iowa's most watched high school news show. Hello Boone High and welcome back to the Boone TV Buzz. Thank you for joining us for this week's news show where we will bring you all the latest in news, sports, and entertainment from this past week. Let's take a look at what has BHS buzzing. BHS students involved in both athletics and activities recently toured local elementary schools, holding pep assemblies for our future Toreadors. I have more on this event. Last Friday, on November 30th, the Winter Sports Seniors went to most of Boone schools to introduce themselves and talk about what sports they are in. The athletic director also went with them to see how it would impact the kids. I think that has a, a huge bearing on them seeing themselves as a, as a Toreador and looking up to uh, our athletes and those that are involved in activities, saying, hey, I want to be in the pep band one day or I want to be a cheerleader one day, um, and, and really aspiring to that. We also you know, want to present our kids as student athletes um, and being able to find a balance between being successful in the classroom and also being involved in activities. Band member Abby Lumley loves seeing all the kids so excited for the band to play. My favorite part about the assembly was all of the kids' faces lighting up when they heard the band start playing. Cheerleader Brooke Young hopes the kids will get involved after seeing them. I hope the kids um, want to get involved in high school athletics and getting to see us and introduce ourselves. They'll get to know a little bit more about what we do at the high school. No, there will not be as many pep assemblies for the kids. The seniors and athletic director are still so happy to go and see them as much as they can. This has been Hannah Good for Boone TV. The 2018 through 19 yearbook is in the making and both students and new English teacher Mrs. Burke are excited for the outcome. Boone TV reporter Paxton Swanson has more on this creative process. The 2019 yearbook staff has been hard at work. Yearbook now has a new advisor, Mrs. Burke. Mrs. Burke is excited for the creativity of the class. Uh, there's always the part of being creative and being a teacher that I love and so I feel like this communications and journalism class is the perfect way to teach. Um, also have a business aspect to it and just allow students to kind of use their creativity. The students put a lot of time, creativity, and hard work into the design of the yearbook. You create a page that we normally start out by taking photos at that, kind of picking the layout of how we want the page to look, and then putting pictures in and creating captions for them and kind of explaining what's going on in the page. We spend all year working on it and that's why it doesn't get in until October of the next school year. And we try, we try really hard and we work really hard to get it done and make it look its best. Yearbooks are currently available to purchase and are now on sale for $60 through January. They will be available to purchase until April 30th. This has been Paxton Swanson for Boone TV. One club here at Boone High is looking forward to how its new members will contribute to the community this year. Boone TV reporter Joey Wilksack has more on FCCLA. For the last several years, FCCLA has been an active club at Boone High School. FCCLA, which stands for Family, Career, and Community Leaders of America, primarily serves the community and develops fundraisers for those in need. Mr. Myers is the advisor for this club and is really excited to get new members for FCCLA. So we have a ton of different competitions that range from online only where students are producing portfolios or stuff they do online and submit, all the way up to culinary um, skill demonstrations and big in-depth research projects where they create portfolios and posters and present those to a judge. The club members are also excited for the club and what this club could teach them and how they 
can help their community. I am really looking forward to performing a STAR event and I'm just looking forward to working with other people and understanding like how to budget and understanding how to learn and better our future in FCCLA STAR events. We have our STAR events coming up and that's a lot of fun to work with. Uh, I joined FCCLA mo mostly because of Mr. Myers and I like the classes and FCCLA was basically the same thing. FCCLA is available for anyone that wants to find ways to help their community and get involved in the field of family consumer science. This has been Joey Wilsack with Boone TV. With a relatively young group, this year's wrestling team is optimistic about its future. Boone TV reporter Mason Smulcher has more on this preview. This year's wrestling team has been hard at work in preparation for what they hope is a successful season. After sending two wrestlers to state last year, the Torters are hoping to increase the number this season. In order to reach that goal, Coach Smorlam is looking to create a strong sense of family. Uh, as far as the team, I just hope we come together as a family, get together, um, compete very well. And then uh, as an individual, I mean, obviously, a couple of district titles and uh, individual champs and throughout the year and just grow as a team and get a good record and, uh, you know, grow together and make sure everything in wrestling uh, follows out through life. Many of the Toronto wrestlers put in the time during the offseason to prepare for this season. I had to weight lift and had to condition quite a bit so I can get in shape for wrestling. This is my first year, but I've been just kind of watching a lot of videos and talking to the coaches, learning as much as I can and hoping to have as much success as I can. Senior Norbert Razamana knows what he needs to work in order to make it to state. Well, last year my biggest uh, problem I'd say was being on top. So this this year I've been working a lot on being the top guy because I'm, I'm good on my feet and I'm good on bottom. So I've just been working on top, getting that down a little bit. Due to the many underclassmen on this year's team, Coach Moreland believes there's a lot of room for growth. We have a super young team, green team. Um, they're just going to have to step up. Uh, I don't expect a lot out of them. I mean, as long as they can go out and compete and give us their best uh, every duel, um, every practice, uh, we'll grow as a team and get better as the years go on. So um, as just as long as they give us their best effort, that's all I can ask for. This has been Mason Smolser from Boone TV. With winter break right around the corner, Boone TV's Lauren Bass look to find your least favorite holiday movies. Here's the fan favorite question of the week. Question of the week. Question of the week. For. This is a good Christmas movie. No, it's ho ho horrible. <laughs> so Boon High, what's your least favorite Christmas movie? The Grinch. I stole Christmas because like why would he steal Christmas from those poor people? This holiday movie is The Grinch. Worst movie, Christmas movie ever is The Grinch. Okay, I hate the live action remake of The Grinch movie. <laughs> <laughs> A Nightmare Before Christmas. Um, I don't like Home Alone 2. I think the first one was much better, and I didn't like the second movie. I would have to say the movie Scrooge with George C. Scott. I never really liked that movie because he was such a mean, old, bitter man. Elf. <laughs> Uh, all the Hallmark movies. Question of the week. Question of the week. Thank you for joining us for this week's new show. We will be back next week with all the latest buzz at BHS. In the meantime, please head over to BoonTV.com to check out all of our latest videos. While you're there, don't forget to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And now, from all of us at BoonTV, make sure that you stay safe, stay cool, and have a wonderful week, Boon High.